So um uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, season of Michigan in music. So let's call on the next speaker, uh, that's uh, Mr. Sanam Dushan, with the head of Arctic Delivery at uh, Psycho K, and we'll be speaking uh, on the topic uh, the application of machine learning in the manufacturing industry. So, um, yeah, let's have Mr. Dushan. Thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. So, hope you are able to can you confirm if you are able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? If anybody can give me a thumbs up or any confirmation. Mike, can you please confirm if you're able to hear me? Okay, cool. So, hello everyone. So, thank you for inviting me and joining me today as we explore the use of machine learning in manufacturing and retail. As many of you already know what machine learning is, so machine learning is nothing but it's a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the use of algorithm and a statistical model to enable system to learn and improve from data. It's been a hot topic in tech industry for quite some time, but the application are not just limited to technology companies. It is increasingly being adopted across many industries as well. So in manufacturing and retail, machine learning is becoming an increasingly important tool for optimizing process, improving efficiency and driving growth. The ability of machine learning system to analyze large amount of data and identify patterns and insight that would be impossible for human to see on their own has potential to disrupt this entire industry. The opportunities that machine learning present in manufacturing and retail are enormous. Machine learning is being increasingly adopted in this area. Today, I would like to take a deeper dive and explore some of the specific use cases of machine learning in these industries. One of the most significant use cases of machine learning in manufacturing industry is predictive maintenance. By analyzing large amount of data from equipment and machines, machine learning algorithm can predict when a failure is likely to occur, allowing manufacturing to manufacturer to schedule maintenance before problem occurs. This can reduce downtime, downtime, increase efficiency, and also helps companies in terms of saving costs. Companies like GE has implemented this in their wind turbine farms and experienced up to 45% increase in their energy production. So we can understand how much impact it can create from various spreads and spectrum of multiple use cases. Machine learning can also be used to improve the quality control process in manufacturing. By analyzing images and sensor data, machine learning algorithms can detect, detect defects in products and can also be used to train operators and machines to produce higher quality products more efficiently. Again, this can help us in terms of saving costs, improve customer satisfaction that is most important in service industry and reduce waste because as a world, we are also pledged to make our world as sustainable and eco-friendly as we move forward. Another important use case is around supply chain optimization. Machine learning can be used to optimize the flow of goods and material through supply chain. From the sourcing of raw material to the delivery of finished good, this can improve forecasting, reduce inventory cost, and increase responsiveness to change in demand. By identifying pattern and trend in data, machine learning algorithms can help companies to improve lead time, reduce delivery cost, and again, it helps in increasing the customer satisfaction. In the retail industry, machine learning is disrupting the entire ecosystem. Machine learning can also be used to personalize the shopping experience for customer by analyzing customer data such as browsing history and purchase history or their behavior. Retailers can make personalized product recommendation and they can create targeted advertising campaign campaign, which can increase customer sales and also helps these companies to get more customer loyalty. Machine learning can also be used to predict forecast sales and predict customer demands, so which in simpler terms we can call as a sales forecasting. 
by analyzing data on past sales machine learning algorithms can identify patterns and trends that can, that can be used to optimize inventory management pricing strategies this can also help retailer to increase sales by reducing costs by avoiding their stockouts and some of their markdowns as well another important use case has been which is being used by retailer is to make their brick and mortar store experience more seamless this is where the majority of the innovation is going on uh, in current scenario where we are more focused on touchless or sensor based uh, payment system and all sort of those things with the help of image recognition retailers can help customer find products in store using their smartphone help them identify product and even provide personalized discount based on their shopping pattern and their shopping history marketing is a very important concept no matter in which industry you are in so manufacturing and retail is heavily reliant on marketing and marketing as we all know is being driven upon on four p's product price promotions and placement when we talk about product so in product the what are the features what announcement we can do whether it's fit for market or not all those sort of activities can easily be achieved by implementing various machine learning techniques every company gets their revenue by pricing so price is the most critical and very important aspect in any industry so machine learning helps these companies in various domain like manufacturing retail to understand what would be the right price point some companies have different strategies some companies has different strategies like some companies want to sell less number of products at a higher price some companies want to sell more products at a lower price this is what we call as a concept of elasticity machine learning clearly helps in terms of understanding what is the elasticity what will be the price point that we can put for that particular product and then once you get a price point on the basis of different market scenario different economical condition we can optimize our prices there are various numerous there are various use cases which i can talk about on day on day basis but since the considering the limited amount of time that i got i'll be moving on and i'll be touching upon on another aspect which is promotion in this world of digital transformation when everything is going toward hyper personalization this machine learning algorithms can i uh, not can i'm saying it it is playing a major role in terms of personalizing what campaign we should do how we can promote particular product in which particular geography all sort of those activities are happening with different machine learning algorithms the concepts like customer lifetime value or lifetime total value of a customer so with with the use of machine learning we can predict what is the potential of this what is the potential in this particular customer in order to have more value so that we can generate more revenue from the customer this can also helps in understanding the purchasing pattern this can also helps in understanding how this customer is most likely to move whether they will churn whether they will stay with us or should we go with better promotions and all sort of those activities so we can personalize we can make significant impact using machine learning in this particular third p fourth p is around placement in our context it is more around if i if i talk about the retailer perspective it's about store in a store the space is limited you can't have everything in one store so it's very important to understand what product you would like to have in that store what will the assortment so you cannot have every product in with the same quality so you have to understand the customer purchasing behavior you have to understand what product are most likely to be sold out in this particular store so this is where machine learning is playing a significant role and massive a significant and creating a massive significant impact in terms of understanding customer behavior and optimizing the space in terms of getting the maximum out of it micro and macro spacing is another use case around this placement piece so imagine if you go in a store retailers know where you will be seen what will be your behavior what will be your impulsive buying so we are analyzing all the data which is on the feeds it would be images it would be data it would be your purchasing history how you move in a store where you look on the basis of that retailer tends to puts their product on different shelf and that's how they just make the better use of these opportunities by placing the right product maybe sometimes at a higher price because you tends to buy those product because they are in front of your eyes so that's how machine learning is driving some uh, saving significant value in terms of uh, getting more revenue and better customer experience for the companies as well as for the customers as well now with the uh, increase use of 
tech based innovation so we all know this is the this is one space where the majority of innovation is happening and uh, retail and manufacturing is no i mean we are not lagging behind in terms of using these innovations so customer feedback and their sentiments about product store company is very important if we if we are able to understand what customer is thinking about us on the basis of that we can change our strategy we can understand what what we can do how we can make their experience better now nobody is unaware about chat gpt and those transformers based uh, natural language processing models which are coming like gpt3 and a uh, couple days couple couple of days back we heard about that gpt4 is about to launch and we all know that deep mind is about to get launched in this year so exciting time coming for this particular space where a lot of innovation and revolution is coming which is just disrupting this entire text based uh, machine learning algorithms uh, which can be implemented in various use cases and various industries as well when you talk about customer satisfaction and when you talk about customer service so customer support is a very important aspect previously it was a heavy uh, resource intensive job where uh, there was no consistency all the people all the support executives were giving different responses but now with the adoption of customer support chatbots we know there would be a consistent answer that every customer will be receiving for the same company we can reduce our headcount from there and put them in a better utilization so that we can get maximum out of them so these are some of the use cases which i can say are majorly impacting this retail and the manufacturing industry in some way the use of manufacturing the use of machine learning in manufacturing and retail has the potential to disrupt these industries by optimizing processes improving efficiency and driving growth we have discussed some of the use cases such as predictive maintenance quality control supply chain optimization personalization sales forecasting and image recognition to name a few however like this was also it was also discussed in previous slide that uh, implementing machine learning in these industries also come with its own set of challenges one of the biggest challenges the biggest challenge is the need of high quality data if you don't have any data you cannot train your model in order for machine learning system to be effective the large amount of accurate and relevant data is required from where our models can learn another challenge is lack of expertise in machine learning where industry might face difficulties in finding the right talent to work on those project and to understand the result of these models by understanding these challenges and opportunities we can help better prepare ourselves for incorporate for the incorporation of machine learning in our businesses and to reap the most benefit it's important to remember that the technology is still developing we cannot say that we have achieved at that at that point where we can leverage everything it is still developing and we can accept some more and more use cases in the future it is exciting time to be in this industry when machine learning is playing a massive role and we have the opportunity to shape the future of manufacturing and retail with the help of machine learning i hope you found this ta talk informative and thought provoking i'd like to thank you for the attention and invite me to and invite you to approach me for any for the discussion or uh, any question on this topic and also would like to call out the effort which mike and team is making in this octave uh, in cooperation where he is revolutionizing the and disrupting the entire education space i have known him for some years and can see uh, how much impact he is bringing in so uh, congratulations to you guys now i can open the floor if you guys have any question any concerns i'm happy to take those questions how is so, so first question is how is machine learning used to reduce cost of production in manufacturing so definitely like i said that uh, we are using uh, the forecasting so forecasting is an important aspect which can help in understanding uh, how we can effectively manage our supply chain in terms of logistic how we can procure those raw material at the right time so that we can reduce our transportation cost how we can buy those resources at the right time so machine learning can help you understand those behavior if there is a fluctuation in the price point then you can buy those product at that right 
right at, at the right quantity at the right time because you cannot do the bulk buying because you have to store those products that is the biggest challenge in the manufacturing industry as well so there are different use cases uh, but these are some of the significant use cases if you can optimize your uh, raw material or the raw resources that what resources to buy in which quality and how much will be required at what amount of time and by improving your uh, supply chain not network that from where we can buy and how we can make it more optimized I'm happy to take uh, more questions if you guys have more questions around this. I've been in this industry since last 12 years, so uh, it seems like that I've grown old now, but uh, I have seen this industry right from uh, using those Excel files and moving and importing those text files to now totally cloud-based transformation. So it's been a big journey, which I have seen over the last 12, 13 years uh, since I've been working on these different use cases. So we used to call it analytics when I started my career. Then it has been renamed as data science and now everybody knows it's like uh, machine learning and uh, AI. I can't see the uh, full question. It says in manufacturing, it is important to keep the price as minimal as possible while delivery quality. You have mentioned that AI helps to get the exact price point. I mean, it helps companies too. So can you, uh, put your full question because you have kind of said what I have explained previously. So what exactly is your question? So, um, okay, got it. So in terms of uh, predicting the right price point, so you know um, the concept is pretty simple that you have cost, you have, you have running cost, which is your operating cost. You have your, uh, uh, I would say the cost for which you are producing your good. And then you have to understand your margins as well. So you cannot have same prices for same all the markets uh, where you are operating in. In some places you can have higher margin, in some places you can keep lesser margin. So it's a state of art which you have to understand which is something which you can achieve by uh, implementing those machine learning and uh, AI based techniques, which can help you understand. So like I was talking about the concept of elasticity, where you have to understand if I take my price point high, my cell point, my the number of quantity I'm selling will go down. That's a clear relationship that you can see. But what would be that price point that I want to keep? I am Am I a more growth hungry where I want to get more growth in terms of selling more products by lowering down my margin so that my revenue will go up or I am more interested in selling less product and taking my margin high. So there's a trade trade off which depends upon companies to companies. There are different algorithms, different techniques which can help you to uh, get that right price point and what would be the strategy that the company has to adopt. So uh, that's that is something that can help you to understand uh, in terms of how we can predict the prices. Another question is around the uh, revenue that uh, can ever machine learning be able to uh, help companies in terms of optimizing, in terms of getting to that point where it is generating the revenue. Yes, definitely. The machine learning and AI is uh, helping companies in terms of driving more revenue. So imagine if you're having same prices for same location for that matter. That is definitely not a sustainable model which can work. So you have to have different prices for different uh, location, different places. So in some places where the purchasing power is high, you can have higher price point. Where the purchasing power is not that high, you can have lower price point. So that is something that can definitely help you to uh, drive more value out of it. But uh, it's fair to say machine learning is generating a lot of revenue and lot of providing a lot of optimization and efficiencies in how we are operating. That is why every everybody, every company is now going towards uh, having machine learning capability in their own company. And that is why this particular area and domain is uh, increasing. So if you search this in Google, so if you talk about machine learning and AI, that is one area which is in getting the most uh, amount of attention and attraction from the people who are trying to understand what exactly is happening. And this is one space where the majority of innovation is happening. So be it, uh, your image base, uh, any uh, any product or be it any text based product. So 
every different companies are using some way in some what uh, machine learning capabilities which is definitely making uh, users customers and everybody's uh, life a little easier every day i'm not sure if we are at the time but i'm happy to take uh, one last question if there is any other question in the room How is the deployment of AI system handled in manufacturing space? Is it more on premise or cloud based? So, uh, see, uh, it's a very good question. And uh, in terms of matur maturity, it depends. So, if not not everybody can start right from the cloud because cloud has certain cost, and you have to understand uh, how you want to use it. So, I would say. Uh, if somebody is getting into this journey where somebody is looking to start their journey in manufacturing space, I would say start with on-premise because that's where you can reduce your processing cost. The only cost you can spend is on the data if you want to store it somewhere, which is backed up capability, including your in-house server or any external cloud server. So start with on-premise build certain solution build certain capabilities optimize that then put it on cloud that's where you can get the maximum revenue so as we all all see in this industry in terms of uh, how machine learning is moving uh, in current scenario is couple of years back everybody was trying to go for cloud adoption so even the smallest and the big companies, everybody just moved to cloud. And then now what exactly is happening? It's a reverse process which is happening because of the enormous cloud cost. So everybody is now moving back from cloud to on-premise. So I would say it's the company call. If they have funds, if they have revenue, if they can afford those inefficiencies on cloud, then definitely they can go with cloud from the starting. But the correct way of approaching any problem would be to on-premise and then to move on to cloud. So I got another question which says, let me give you a scenario. I have a traditional product of packaging and distribution. I learned about machine learning and of course I want to automate and enhance my process. So my question is where do I factor in the cost of utilizing machine learning and how much effect would it have on my price point? See, so in terms of packaging and distribution, uh, definitely price point uh, and predicting the price is not something which we can achieve using machine learning but there are other ways you can achieve uh, optimization and efficiencies in your process how you can do that by optimizing your supply chain because in distribution it's very important you should not waste your resources your supply chain network has to be on top notch so that in the lesser of least of effort you can get maximum coverage so that is one important aspect and in terms of packaging now companies are using a lot of deep learning based image classification problems for example player like Amazon and, and all sort of those uh, companies of similar capability, they are using various uh, algorithm, which is a misclassification where uh, if packaging is being done, they are censoring how it's been done. So the so one of the biggest uh, cut down cost is the coming back of those orders, which we have already sold out. So that is something we, which you can achieve. And there are another uh, multiple use cases which I can talk about, but in the interest of time, I'll just call out these couple of use cases which can definitely help you in terms of packaging and distribution. But uh, once your packaging and distribution are sorted, you have attained certain efficiencies, then ultimately your operating cost will come down. Then you will have more margin and that will give you some levers in terms of playing with your price point. That is what I would say. And that is where, uh, again, the machine learning will come into picture, wherein uh, it can help you to optimize those prices on the basis of your lower uh, operating cost. I hope I answer your question. Thank you everyone for this time and thank you uh, Octave and Corporation team for having me here. Really thank appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everyone for this time and thank you for having me here. Really appreciate it.